I'm here on the Delta Flatboat Cruise, just one of the many family-friendly activities here at Gaylord Opryland Resort. You can see these beautiful atriums, nine acres under glass here for everyone to enjoy. Gaylord Opryland has brought back their summer fest with tons of family-friendly activities, many of which are free. Let me tell you about some of my favorites. From atrium vibes and scavenger hunts to selfie spots and musical art tours, Opryland has put the best lineup together for families of all ages to find something that they can love and make memories with. Only at Gaylord Opryland can guests have the room to enjoy wide open spaces, beautiful atrium views, and a full itinerary of family-friendly activities all in one place. With acres of lush gardens under glass, Gaylord Opryland atriums are loved by guests for their variety of flora, winding walkways, rivers, waterfalls, and space to roam. All kept year-round at a comfortable 72 degrees. There are now two ways you can experience your Delta Cruise. A tour like you would at any other time, but now you can actually reserve a private cruise. So whether you're looking for that romantic moment or just a private tour for your friends and family, it's the perfect way to experience the Delta Atrium. Make sure you reserve yours now. On Friday and Saturday nights this summer, the resort is premiering the summer series Atrium Vibes, a lineup of spectacular socially distanced entertainment that guests can enjoy from the comfort of their private guest room balcony. Guests booking an atrium view have the best seat in the house to one-of-a-kind events, including live music concerts and light and fountain shows. Gaylord Opryland is transforming its iconic spacious atriums into an exciting safari for families to discover and learn about endangered animals within the comfort of their own family and on their own time. Upon check-in, guests can scan a QR code so they have the schedule for all the amenities, events, and attractions right in the palm of their hands. One of the reasons our family loves Opryland so much is that it's the perfect Nashville staycation. I mean, you don't even have to leave the city borders to get an upscale resort experience right here in our own hometown. reasons to come to Soundwaves is for the food and drinks and today we're showing you how to make one of the most popular dishes inspired by one of your favorite sunny destinations at home. I'm joined by Chef Mike. Hi Chef. Hey. You're the director of culinary here at Gaylord Opryland Resort and you're going to actually teach us how to make one of your most popular dishes. Is that right? Yeah that's right. So this this dish is our Hawaiian pork taco. It's got a pineapple pico de gallo. It's really easy to make at home. It's even easier to come here and enjoy it at Soundwaves. Well, who wouldn't want to do that? But it, when you come to Soundwaves, I think being able to bring some of that back home with you is really exciting. So can you teach us how to do that? Here at Soundwaves, we use our house smoked pork butt. Um, it's delicious. Um, and to make the tacos, we actually turn it into barbecued pork with our, with our house-made barbecue sauce. We're taking corn tortillas. Okay. We're just griddling them. And if you don't have a griddle at home, you can just use a skillet. Okay. And what I like to do is our uh, secret ingredient here, not very secret, but ask take that. a little bit of butter. And it gives them kind of yeah, a nice char. nice crispness to it, but it also adds a lot of flavor because there's there's flavor in fat. And then we add the barbecued pork. So you're just going to heat up the pork, gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce. We top it with a little bit of just shredded iceberg lettuce. Sure. And then our pineapple pico. Now this is the star, this pineapple pico de gallo. Tell me this is easy to make. This is super easy okay. <laughs> to make. So it's only got a couple of ingredients. It's got pineapple, Okay. it's got serrano peppers, okay. it's got cilantro, yes. it's got red onion, it's got salt and pepper, and it's got lime juice. That's basically it. And you use a lot of locally sourced ingredients. You even have honey yeah, absolutely. Here at the resort, right? So yeah, that's one of the things we're known for here is we use a lot of local ingredients, but not only that, most of the food, almost 95, 98% of the food that we make here is actually made here on property from scratch. So I think a lot of times you'll come for the attraction and then you're eating out of necessity. 
Soundwaves is truly one of the places I love to come to eat, and I'm happy that I can actually have fun with my family while enjoying really high quality food with love that is baked right into it and made with, with love every day. So if you want to come enjoy not only these Hawaiian pork tacos, but so many of the other offerings that Soundwaves has to offer, Chef Mike and his team will be here waiting for you. Absolutely. Do we get to dig in? We do. Great, awesome. Mocktails have become a huge trend, and as someone that doesn't drink, I really appreciate how Soundwaves has reimagined some of their unique handcrafted beverages without alcohol. Chef Mike, you've got two that you're going to show us today and that we're going to share with our viewers. Can you talk us through them? We've got one here, our Soundwaves punch, that's pineapple juice, it's got pomegranate juice in it, um, a little bit of lime sour. It's fantastic, it's got a, a vibrant color. And uh, it's nice, just garnished with some maraschino cherries. Really refreshing, great for kids, great for adults. Just a really fantastic drink. That looks delicious. So that's one of our most popular. That's so refreshing, especially when you're outside at Soundwaves in the heat, to be able to have something that sure. is not just a Shirley Temple, right? We've really gone beyond just the club soda and the basic non-alcoholic beverages. Yes, we have. I love it. And what else do we have? So this is what we call our best pal, and this is a fantastic drink, super refreshing as well, because it's got fresh mint in it, it's got lime sour, and then it's topped off with a little bit of club soda. Okay. Again, just really fresh on a hot summer day here at Soundwaves. You're riding around, enjoying the fun on the slides, and you need a drink to cool down? It sounds like a, a, a non-alcoholic mojito in a sense with that, that mint. It, it is very much so. Oh, that's so refreshing. I love it. Well, thank you for sharing these. We'll make sure to share the recipes with you, but we'd rather share them with you out by the pool here at Soundwaves ourselves. Thanks, Steph. My pleasure.